morning everybody. I have just popped on my gym outfit because we are going to go to the gym in a second. So I have got on one of my sets from my Bowen Tee collection. It's the purple one, which is definitely my favourite. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to move over here because it's a little bit dark over there. It's very dark today. Like It feels very like autumn. I'm definitely going to have to start wearing the puffer to the gym. That's when you know that it's getting a lot colder in the UK because the puffer comes out. <laughs> Anyway, I am starting a new video today because today we are doing a week of workout. I love filming these. I love sharing, chatting all things fitness, but also I do hope that this video might give you some inspo for some of your workouts or some tips and tricks that I might pop in of certain moves, etc, etc. Um, so I hope you're excited. I'm excited. Today we are doing a leg day. I always like to try and do a solid compound leg work. <laughs> this male just walked past the house. I always like to try and do a solid compound leg day on a Monday if I can. I actually haven't been able to the past few Mondays because um, I've been like at shoots and I was at Nottingham. I was at Nottingham? I was in Nottingham last weekend. Last weekend? Last Monday. <laughs> Monday brain. But yeah, so I do like to try and do a leg day on a Monday. I feel like it just starts the week on a really good note for me. So that's what we're gonna do today. I was looking at my workout last night and I'm nervous. <laughs> so I'm actually following a plan in my app Beyond at the moment. I have spoken about this as well before. Recently, I have really found my love again for fitness. Not that I didn't love it before, but I feel like I'm training now because I want to progress with my muscles and get stronger and um, less kind of just training because I know it makes me feel good mentally. It still does that. But I do also have some more kind of strength physical goals now too. And I'm loving it. It's really re-inspired me and just so nice to feel like in love with it again. And a massive thing that has helped is following a plan. So I'm currently following a plan for my app, which is Beyond. So we have just started a new plan, which has launched in the app recently, which is a very advanced gym guide. And I mean, very advanced. Like I couldn't we last week. I was waddling, why could we? That's like, I, I struggled to sit down and we basically because the inner parts of my legs and the bottom of my bum were on fire. <laughs> I was waddling everywhere for a while after the first Monday leg day because it was tough. Although I did it on Sunday, but it was still tough. But yeah, so basically following a plan I feel like is massively helped me because it's given me structure, but also because my plans, I write them so that they you know, help you with progress. They're written with progressive overload. So before I was kind of just going in, doing whatever exercises I felt like, but now I've got this structure, I really feel like I'm starting to see a lot of difference and I'm getting a lot stronger and I'm really loving it. It's so exciting when you feel like, okay, I can up my weights this week and it's just such a nice feeling. So <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm just loving like being more aware and on track with my fitness and my workouts and my app has a lot to thank for that. <laughs> Without plugging myself too much, um, I do think it's massively helpful because loads of the other girls are also doing this plan with me at the same time, it's just so motivating. So if you do want to join Beyond, I will leave it linked below. Um, we do also have lots of other plans as well. We've got different um, difficulties and we've got home and gym ones, but this Power 2.0 guide is tough. If you want a really tough, I mean, you'll see this week, it'll kind of give you like a, seven day look at it as well because I'm basically doing all of the workouts from it this week as I'm following it for the, part, for the next eight weeks. So, <laughs> sorry for the blab this morning, but oh, he's so cute. He does this all the time when I sit at the desk. Do you wanna come up? <laughs> come then, come say hi to the week of workouts video. Here he is. I feel like it's gonna be really fun to do this together this week. So I hope you're excited and we should probably get to the gym and I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm gonna possibly, I was thinking of doing some of these workouts this week with a little talk over, but we'll see. Cause I wanna just like try and add in some little tips of things that I think for each move, but we'll see. Okay, so today's workout, we have a heck of a lot of barbell movements, but that's actually kind of my favorite way to do my leg days. I don't know about any of you guys, but I just feel like I love a barbell. I cannot be judged. No, I won't have a day not playing this game. I do not. Hi, guys. 
I just wanted to talk about this move in particular because I realize it's quite a different move and it looks a bit daunting. Now, if you're worried about getting that barbell on your shoulder, a hack that I would say makes it a lot easier is pop that bar on a bench first and then lift it onto your shoulder because you can sit into it then and lift up. But give it a go. It's really, really good. It's a nice way to change up your squat. Try it. So we have a barbell reverse lunge next. These are almost as horrible as Bulgarian split squats, but they are fabulous for your legs and your bum muscles. Now, you wanna really focus on your core stability here to keep your balance nice and strong. So keep that core nice and tight and engaged and bring that leg down into a deep lunge, get nice and low if you can, and push back up through that heel in that front foot. Another of my favorite moves, next we have a sumo deadlift. Now you can't really tell here because I was filming myself, but I have a very wide stance, so wider than hip width, and you want your feet to be slightly pointed outwards, both of them, and it will target the glute muscles even more. It's the golden lower body move, we have a hip thrust, and we actually do these twice this week. But basically, as you can see, I'm actually doing a dead stop hip thrust where we are fully putting the weight down between each rep. This toughens the move even more because you are having to lift all of that load every single rep. Try it, it's a really good variation of a hip thrust. Okay, we have a superset neck, so two moves back to back with no rest until both are complete. These are very isolating on smaller muscles here, so we're focusing on the leg extension which gets your quads, and then we're gonna move straight into a hamstring curl which gets your hamstrings. So they are opposites, but really, really good to do together to tire out all of the leg at the end of our session. And we are finishing with my favorite way to finish lower body days, walking lunges. Now for this session, we actually have an A2 rep challenge finisher. It was really hard, <laughs> but my legs felt like jelly and were very shaky at the end, but I love finishing my workouts like that. I feel like I've worked so hard. Now make sure you really get deep into each lunge and bring that leg nice and far forward for each lunge as well. So you've got a nice wide lunge and stance. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm sat on my floor because I thought Bluebell looked cute and I wanted you to see her. Look how cute she looks. Oh, it's not in focus, hang on one second. Oh, look. Are you the cutest, Bloob? Oh, look at her. So good, I love her little eyebrows. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We are about to head to the gym. I've just popped on my gym outfit. <laughs> this is probably the worst possible angle I could possibly have put you in, but well. So I've got on some Lululemon leggings and a yellow sports bra from my Bowen Tee collection. I actually have really wanted to try this combo for a while and I feel like it looks really nice. Probably better if I show you like this, isn't it? Sorry, I'm having a clear out, that's why there's a bit of mess there. Um, but yeah, we're going to the gym, we're going to train some upper body today. So I tend to have two upper body days a week. Um, I split them into push and pull. So today we're doing pull. So we're focusing on back and shoulders. And then the other day I usually focus on chest, triceps and chest, triceps and sh no wait, 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 wait. What am I saying? Did I say back and biceps? Today we're doing back and biceps. Later in the week we will do chest, triceps and shoulders. That is the plan. I'm actually really looking forward to today's session. I was looking at this morning and um we have some pull-ups in there, in there, which I'm actually loving so much. I was just gonna say, if you find pull-ups quite daunting, because I did for ages, I actually used to avoid them because I feel like they're really difficult, <laughs> but they're so good for you. They work so much of your body and they always make you feel really strong. And since I got myself a long band, this is just from Amazon, it was like a few pounds, it's helped so much. So. Don't feel bad if you can't do normal pull-ups like body weight, because I can't either. <laughs> I have to use this at the moment. But then also the pull-up machine's really good too. But we're doing negatives today, which means we pull ourselves up quickly and then it's, the movement is focused on the down part of it, where we're going to go really slowly down. But you'll see anyway. Um, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of cardio of some sort, and I think we're finishing on abs, but I don't like training abs. Does anyone else find this? Anyway, let's go train. So as I said, I think I am going to do a little bit of cardio to start. I tend to try and do that on my two upper body days as well, just because I like getting that sweat on. I find with upper body, I don't 
always sweat as much as when I do lower body so that is a big reason why I like to start with that because it really gets me in the zone and gets my heart rate moving but I have just come on my period and it's just the worst isn't it the, that first day that you come on your period and then you go and train Hello, me again. I'm not actually going to talk through everything because I will drive you mad. But I wanted to pop on for this move in particular because you can't actually tell that there is a bench below my feet which I am lifting and hoisting myself up to then lower nice and slowly because the focus on the negative pull up is the down movement. So we're going about three seconds I'm counting on the way down. Okay, quick chat on this tricep. So if you don't know, a tricep means three moves back to back with no rest. We're starting with a chest assisted row. This makes it even more difficult because we can't use any momentum here. So our chest is still and it's just the back doing that move and feeling that burn. Second part of the tricep, we're doing some seated bent over flies. And I just wanted to point out here, really focus on your pinkies pointing outwards as you fly them back. Pinkies to the sky. <laughs> That's what you gotta think. Okay, third part and final part of the tricep, we have a wide bicep curl. So we are tilting those arms. So they are almost parallel to our body and we are curling. This is really tough on the biceps, but also the forearms. It's not too late to be Tell me what I need to know Tell me what I need to know And stop the train everybody happy Wednesday I am just about to head off to the gym and train obviously that's what we're doing this week week of workouts um so today I'm actually doing a cardio based day usually what I do because now my body is very achy after a lower session and an upper session by the Wednesday I'm usually quite achy and I am <laughs> so sometimes I actually take this as a rest and then I'll do my next day on Thursday etc it just depends how I'm feeling but I'm actually okay I can I think I can do it <laughs> so we are doing a cardio session and again this isn't a weight based session so it, that's why I try and kind of write a day like this in between the two heavier weight days when I write plans so yeah basically we're doing cardio we are actually doing an EMOM session on the treadmill mixed with a few bits of weight so what we're gonna do is jump from the treadmill to a kettlebell swing, swing back to a treadmill to a squat into overhead press so I just kind of bring my weights by the treadmill and just do my thing <laughs> so it's an EMOM session as well which means every minute on the minute we change so we do 45 seconds of each and then change and I think on the I think I wrote for the kettlebell swings and the squat into overhead press they're reps but then on the treadmill it's 45 seconds then you get 50 seconds 15 seconds until the next minute when you change into like the swings or whatever I hope that makes sense <laughs> so we're gonna do 20 minutes of that and then I think we're finishing with three supersets of abs so I'm not gonna explain it all because obviously you're gonna see it in a second but just in case you haven't heard of the technique EMOM it's just an, a challenging but interesting technique I find so um yeah it keeps your rest periods quite you know timed and like together because you only have whatever rest left in the minute for your rest whatever time's left after you've fulfilled your reps that's your rest period and then you jump into next so it's very intense but I will see you at the gym for day three it's about a 25 minute session so see you there
Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Niall's not coming to train with me today, but he's here. It's Thursday, which is Friday Eve. Yeah. I always said that, I don't know you're just following me. You said get in my clips, so I'm getting in your clips. <laughs> yeah, it's Thursday, and today we are doing glutes day. So usually on my second lower body session, I focus a little bit more on the glutes. What are you doing, man? I'm going to show you that. My glute, I've been doing quite a lot of legs recently, a lot of lunges. Yeah, to be fair, your bum has grown. Has it? Yeah. You've you been doing it? lots of hip thrusts. They're the golden bum move. But I feel like lunges do your no. as well. Well, they do. They do, but I think hip thrusts are the best. Anyway, we are going to the gym today and we're doing glutes. So we're going to have a little bit of glute activation today to get the bum warmed up before we go into the exercises which is very important if you're if you like struggle to feel your glutes um and we will be doing hip thrusts i i <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> you're such a creeper i almost always put hip thrusts in my glutes session like no matter what even if they're on my other lower body day that week they're just the best so yeah that's what we're gonna do also, just I just wanted to say as well, yesterday's cardio session was so fun. <laughs> You're like my mum. This is what my mum does when I'm vlogging. She like puts things in the background. <laughs> that cardio session was one of my favourite cardio sessions yesterday. You should try it. What I actually think you like it. So basically it's EMOM and, and we did treadmill for 45 seconds, kettlebell swings, back to treadmill, to squat into overhead press and you keep doing that for 20 minutes. It's tough. It is tough. What, I was really was sweaty. <laughs> you acted out. On the this isn't a vlog. We're just saying hello. Oh, on the treadmill and then... Yeah, well you could pick your cardio machine, but I picked treadmill. That's the other thing. You can pick whatever cardio machine you prefer, but you need one that you can get off and on quite easy because you, you need your little kettlebell swings and your... Like a rower would be good. Yeah, a rower would be good. So yeah, that was a really good session. How, how much do you rest then? And very... Uh, it's, you rest... So you move oh, on the minute. On the yeah, minute. so it's whatever you've got left of the minute. Is and 20 overhead squats? Yeah. What? I can't do those. Yeah, with a, with a dumbbell. Squat into overhead press. Anyway, <laughs> you saw it all already, so this is probably really boring for you listen, to listen to. But if you get bored of cardio, like if you don't just want to do 20 minutes on the, the Stairmaster or the treadmill or whatever, it's a really fun way to keep yourself like engaged, I fi found. So I'm definitely going to incorporate, well I mean, I'm going to be doing the plan, but I'm definitely really enjoying actually having different cardio sessions. Let me know if you haven't got that cardio session. Anyway, I'm going to leave you because... <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the workout. Glutes today. Let's do it. I'm feeling achy, but this is like my favourite day of the week, so I'm kind of excited. Okay, kicking off the glute workout today, we are doing some glute activation. So as you can see, we are just hitting those glute muscles, getting them fired up, waking them up, getting them involved, getting them moving, getting the blood flowing around them so they are used to their absolute maximum in our session today. Glute muscles are really annoying. They sometimes don't like to play. First superset, we are starting with a sumo stance leg press. So as you can kind of see, but you, I know actually you can't see, but we have a wide stance here. So we are doing a sumo stance and we are slightly higher up on the leg press to hit those glutes even more. Get those legs down towards your chest nice and low if you can. And then the second part of the superset, we are doing some single leg deadlifts. So you wanna keep that leg you're standing on relatively straight, but keep a nice soft knee, don't lock it back and we are lowering down nice and slowly, following that plate down the leg. So we are moving into some dumbbell curtsy lunges. You wanna bring that leg diagonally into a lunge. And we are alternating each time. These are so good for the side of your bum, guys. Second lot of hip thrusts of the week. We are back, we've got some dead stops again. Keep that squeeze at the top, chin tucked in. You got this, you know how to do hip press guys, but they are so good. Okay, we are moving on to some barbell Bulgarian split squats. These are another very, very tough move, but so, so good for you. And if you wanna target your bum more in these, bring that front foot slightly more forward away from the bench. The closer your leg is to the bench, the more you're gonna target your quads. The further away, the more you're gonna target your glutes. 
And the last part of today's session, we have a super set and we are isolating the glutes here. So starting with a cable pull through, you wanna keep that back nice and straight as you slowly bring that down and then squeeze at the top on the way up. Then we're gonna go straight into our cable kickbacks. So for this one, you really wanna focus again on a straight back. Try not to overextend that leg at the top when you're squeezing, you don't wanna arch your back. You wanna just be focusing on that mind to muscle connection. Think about that glute as you squeeze it. Good morning everybody, happy Saturday. So, I don't usually train on the weekends anymore, however, I was very hungover yesterday, so that is why we are doing our final workout today rather than Friday. I try to like keep my weekends a little bit more free from working out and just chilling out and being a slug on the sofa because my body always needs that rest after the week. So yeah, that didn't happen this week. <laughs> but we're gonna basically do our final session of the week today. We're doing our second upper body day, which will be focused more on push. So we're gonna be focusing on shoulders, triceps, and chest. I would actually often do some sprints before this as well. Not today though. I'm feeling very lazy. <laughs> I just like being super lazy on the weekend, so I'm not gonna do cardio today, but yeah, basically, this is my final session. I hope you enjoyed watching my week of workouts with me. I actually am gonna also link all of my gym outfits in the description box, just in case you like any, because I realize most of them are still out. Like, you can still buy them. They're quite new outfits. So, I'm going to link them just in case you like any. If you want to join Beyond as well, please do. We're only on week two of this plan, and it's only going to get harder. <laughs> it's a very, very challenging gym plan. I'm loving it, but it's tough, and my body aches a lot. But actually, yesterday, having that rest was quite good, because my side glutes were on fire yesterday after that last glute workout you saw. But, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you and finish with the shoulder workout, but I hope you enjoyed watching my week of workouts with me. If you are going to try anything, please do tell me. Please do let me know if you enjoyed this style of video as well, because I would love to know. But anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you and finish with the workout. I hope you're all okay. Sending you all my love, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Yeah, we're walking on cloud been a fool to live without your love It's like I've been waiting all around for you Why? First part of today's session we have our tricep And this we are starting with a chest press So please do not shy away from the chest I know lots of us do, we don't love it But we must work all parts of our body to avoid injuries slash imbalances Second part of the tricep we're going into some tricep dips now I've got a bent leg, it makes it a lot easier. You can straighten your leg to toughen that if you want to, but if you struggle with them like I do, bend that leg. And then we're moving into the last part of the tricep, which is our close stance, incline press up. Keep those hands relatively close together if you want to target your chest. without saying bye basically. So I'm just gonna talk you through this last superset. We are starting with some leaning lateral raises on the cables. The lean actually makes it more difficult if you want to challenge yourself even more. So we're just bringing those arms slowly up and nice and controlled on the way down. And then the second part, we have our tricep push downs. Keep those elbows nice and tight to the body. The forearms are moving here, not the top of the arm. And that's about it, guys. I think I give you a wave in a second, so I just wanna be here for that last moment. Here we go. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching.